laughing because of uh, the scene you're going to see next. <laughs> I just recorded. Um, I got my bottle down to 1900. Now that's going to be, where's my notes? Here they are. 1900 PSI. That's going to be right about 125 bar. Uh, I figured that's a good starting point. And then I'm going to fill it up to 4500 PSI. We're going to go supercharger versus turbocharger. I only have one bottle, so I'm going to video, I'm going to record this one doing it, and then that one, and then I'll blend them together for you guys to watch. But uh, next up is me bleeding down the bottle. <laughs> uh, one thing to consider, guys, is is it worth the time versus the money um, going for the turbocharger versus the supercharger? And some of the things you have to consider is, are you in that much of a rush that you need your bottle filled that fast, or are you fine just kind of leaving it to fill. If you're filling a gun, um, like a bottle gun, I, I don't think the difference is going to be all that great. Uh, I mean, that'll fill, that should fill by the numbers twice as fast, which is nice, but still you're only filling a bottle this big versus this big guy here, which is a 45 minute SCBA bottle. That's a lot of air to fill, uh, or a lot of space to fill. So is it worth it, or can you just plug in your supply bottle, walk away, and come back when it's done, uh, you know, what, an hour or something later, I, I don't know. Um, or do you need it right away? Uh, another thing to consider, though, is the maintenance schedule. This one's going to run a lot more, so you might be maintaining it a little bit more often than that one. Now, it's not a big deal either way. It's like, unscrew the thing, give it a squirt, and on that one, I think it's twist the knob, and get a little squirt, you know, so it's not really a big deal, but you are going to reach that, um, that milestone of, of a more in-depth maintenance a little bit faster with this guy versus that one. So, let's get this thing rolling. I got my clock here. I'll set you guys up so you can see everything nice. I'm also going to put this on the floor because it does vibrate and I don't want to take any chances with it. Um, but yeah, I'll hit go on this and reset that to zero minute and off to the races. Enjoy this next part. It's how I drain the bottle out. <laughs> I always wanted to try this. That's one way to dust a room. <laughs> It's been an hour and 15 minutes, and I've gone from 1900 psi to uh, yeah, I know 3300 psi. So 1300 psi in an hour and 15 minutes uh, on a big, big bottle. I mean, remember this is a, this is a pretty big bottle here. Come on up, you coming? And um, but I kind of wanted to take a break while I take care of my other camera because it ran out of battery and memory. Uh, was you're not really going to always shoot down that low with your supply bottle unless you're tethering. Uh, and then in the case of tethering, you're going to get a boatload of shots um, shooting your way down to that pressure. But on the flip side, you're going to pay for it when you go to refill your bottle because this is 
basically kind of an extra hour plus of refill time that normally, I don't think with normal shooting where you just shoot down your low, refill, shoot down your low, refill, I don't think you drop down that, you know, to that low. Um, me personally, I'd probably drop this bottle down to, I don't know, 3,000 or so, and then I'd bring it in and, and top it off again uh, if I was doing a lot of shooting. Uh, just that's the way I kind of run when I'm running my, uh, my guns. So it's almost like during this break, it's like, well, let's say we started here, and this would be a better, um, a better example of where you're going to start at. So let's start at 3,200. I know, but I gotta check it. Yeah, we're gonna start this up again uh, once I get my camera sorted out at 3,200, and then when I run it on the turbo, uh, if there's still daylight out. Um, I'll either run it on the turbo starting at 3200 or if I have to go tomorrow then I'll do the same thing I'll run it all the way down to um, 1900 again and we'll start there with that let's get back to charging from 3200 on up to 4500 <laughs> Well guys, that's two hours and 45 minutes for the supercharger to go from 1900 to 4500 on my big uh, 45 minute SCBA bottle. Now the 45s, I think they're 66 cubic feet, but I'm not positive on that. Um, there's also 60 minute bottles. Those are a humongous ones, really large. And then there's 30 minutes, which are a little bit smaller as um, um, diameter. So. I let this run until it turned off and I haven't closed any valves or anything and if you listen you don't hear anything no hissing no nothing like that it's just sitting here the, the one thing I did do was was turn this off so I could talk to you guys but your cooling agent and your fan and stuff that's just gonna keep on running after the pressure and the pump and all that after all that shuts off so now I'm gonna take my Omega um, <laughs> Omega, uh, my Omega turbocharger, and I'm going to go from, what did I say earlier, 3200 I think it was, I'll bleed my bottle down to 3200, plug this guy in, and uh, let's see, I think it was an hour and 15 minutes, so I expect this to top off that bottle in about 35 minutes or so, maybe 40 minutes, so we'll see, I'll get things set up, get my, uh, camera set up again and we'll see how it does. So guys, I put it down about 3850 because the bottle's a little bit cool for me bleeding it off and so it's going to build up a little bit of pressure um, just sitting here kind of getting back to room temperature. Um, so yeah, on this gauge I'm reading, what did I say, 30? 3250, it's actually 31, it's just short of 3200. So I'll bleed it down a little bit more. 3150, I think that's pretty good. That should give me a good, uh, a good reading on everything that happens. This thing's been running for more than uh, 30 seconds, so it's all good to go. Water's flowing like a champ, so let's kick it on.
One thing I noticed, guys, is this is a lot quieter. I can about talk to you on the camera with this thing running in the background. Okay guys, I'm cutting this off because I'm watching my gauge here is reading 40, almost 4700. Uh, so I don't know, is this gauge off? Is this one off? Is the one on the bottle off? Um, you know, I, I don't know. I imagine the one on the bottle is the least accurate. Again, I'm listening and I hear no hissing. And all that happened was I turned it off. If you're looking to get one of these, I would highly recommend the Turbo. I know it's a couple hundred extra more dollars, but less sound, faster fills, um, less run time, less maintenance, heavier. Um, you know, it's <laughs> there's a lot of benefit to spending those few extra hundred dollars on the Turbo versus the Super. Um, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, happy shooting. And thanks for watching. Well, it is the next day, guys, and I decided to run this experiment of filling my 66 cubic feet bottle from 1900 all the way up to 4500 with my turbo, uh, my Omega Turbo Charger. And uh, I'm pretty impressed. I mean, just over an hour um, for, for that much pressure and to be topped off and ready to shoot, uh, that was, I didn't expect it to be that fast. I expected it to be kind of fast, but not quite as fast as it was. So that's a really pleasant surprise for me. Um, uh, one of the things that came up on the forum recently was using non-distilled water in the reservoir here, and it has to do with the boiling point um, of the distilled water and the, the lack of impurities in that distilled water and stuff. And it says in the instruction manual, don't use distilled water, don't, don't, don't. It says it a couple times. Uh, but one of the things I, I wanted to test was, is the top of this reservoir, this little glass site here, this thing's been running for an hour. And can I touch it? I can. And it's warm. It's not hot by any means. I have no concern that... The water in here is going to boil, <laughs> um, and I shouldn't. This is this machine is running; it's doing its job; it's running well, and it doesn't really need anything from me. So it's just kind of taking care of itself.